We are headed to Charleston for a day trip. If you haven't met me before, my name is John Weber. I'm an associate broker selling real estate in the low country. And we're just going to go up to Charleston, just up the road, explore where to eat, where to shop, the art district, you name it. Follow us and we'll show you what we do. So anyway, it's only a two hour drive from basically the Hilton Head Island Bridge. If you live a uh, little inland in Bluffton, obviously it's gonna be like an hour and a half, really no big deal. It's so cool to take these road trips because sometimes we go to Charleston, sometimes we go to Savannah, and all kinds of places like that. But Charleston's really cool because uh, of the history and it's a foodie town, and you all know we're foodies. So stay tuned. Follow us, and this is going to be great fun. So, in 1670, England sent three ships, the Albemarle, the Carolina, and the Royal Point. The Royal Point and the Carolina did not make it, and the surviving ship with 150 souls was uh, the Albemarle, and they, set, or they discovered Charleston, and they named it Charlestown for their king. So interesting, uh, I'm going to explore, follow along. So we're going to go to 167 Raw, great spot for lunch. Always a line, got to get here early. So we like to come to 167 Raw sometimes, uh, but there's plenty of restaurants. We're going to get into that a little bit later in the video. But I have ordered uh, crispy oysters, and the seafood is fantastic. And 167 uh, uh, Raws on King Street. We're going to get into that a little later also. So anyway, first stop on our tour. Drove right here from uh, uh, the Hilton Head area. And then we're going to hit the streets. It was fantastic. 167 Raw. Totally great. Here on King Street. As I said, we're going to talk about King Street a little later. If you go further this way, lots of shopping, all kinds of things. We are going to go find a guy on a bicycle who's going to ride us around town and explore. And we got David taking us around all the high right spots. Here is a typical um, traditional like English bar. Yeah. Okay. A little pub. Yes, ma'am. So this is what they call Restaurant Row. We just passed High Cotton. We're going to have dinner there tonight. You've got Magnolias here. You've got uh, slightly north of Broad, otherwise known as Snob. Get it? And you got fantastic restaurants uh, on this road. So this is the Pineapple Fountain, which is a symbol of hospitality. Pretty amazing. This is the Cooper River, and it's a beautiful, hot summer day in Charleston. Fantastic. David, come on, you're in the video. In the video now. So, David, born and raised here, right? Born and raised. Okay, so what are we looking at out there? So, to the right, that is... Fort Sumter. Fort Sumter. Yes, sir. Check your history lesson. Fort right. Sumter. Civil War battle fought out there. Uh, the It was like the first shots fired of the Civil War. And when you hear the Star Spangled Banner, that song was inspired, and I think written at Fort Sumter, but it was inspired by the, the, by the war fought, that Civil War fought. 
Great, cool. Moving on. This is one of the biggest ports in the whole country. So the biggest port is actually on Gadsden Wharf where the new African American Museum is. Yeah. We were gonna head down there after we did uh, oh, okay. all of the battery. But 48% of all slaves came in through Gadsden Wharf. Okay, well that's a lot. Yes. Yeah, Rainbow Row, as David says, was a beacon. The sailors, uh, the ships would see the colors and it would be like a, a beacon to come in this right. way, right? Like a landmark, basically. It's like a landmark, exactly right. And it's multicolored buildings all the way down. It's really beautiful. Oldest liquor store in the United States. Kind of cool, right next to the customs house where they did all the slave trade. Um, okay. Really amazing. This is the old city jail right here. They're converting that, I believe, into some type of an office building or something. But that's the, uh, the city jail. Lots and lots of history, obviously, in Charleston. Pretty amazing. So one of the cool things is you see flower boxes in Charleston all the time on these really, really old houses. Can you see sweat dripping off my face? Because it's hot in the summer here. But if we go down here just a little bit further, you can see this old house right here. I mean, phenomenal. We're staying at a bed and breakfast in the Battery, and uh, we're gonna get some great video of that. Uh, so you'll get to see what a bed and breakfast looks like in Charleston. So Charleston is very well known for all the window boxes that they have. Gorgeous, spectacular, beautiful. Also for the secret gardens. They have beautiful gardens in Charleston and I have happened to I happen to have come up one year for the garden tour and it's just you have not seen anything as fabulous as this. Puts everything else to shame. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and you can just go right down the street and see here like some of the window boxes. Just one example of them here down here gorgeous so we are on the street Legree which is a very wealthy street and this door here is made of redwood sequoia you don't see doors made of that anywhere pretty phenomenal the wealth on this street with these homes so I'm in the market right now, and all the vendors are here. Actually, I've never seen it so crowded. Um, it is not a slave area or anything like that. It's just a market. But a lot of the local people bring their, their wares in here and sell them, and it's the true Charleston experience. So this is hot, hot summer, and you can see behind me they recently had the 4th of July here. This is Charleston Place, and we're so bloody hot and tired. We're gonna go in to air conditioning, sit down, maybe have a little adult beverage and rest, and, and then carry on from there. All right, I'm on King Street. You wanna do some shopping? Bring your credit cards. King Street is well known for shopping i mean you've got the college town uh at the college of charleston incidentally our daughter went to college there and she just loved it uh, you know these uh schools that are down in cities are just gives it a real vibrancy but um, you've got different parts of charleston but the the shopping is right here king street so anyway, we decided on High Cock. Uh, it's a really great restaurant. This is our second time uh, eating here. Um, and everybody is so professional. It, it's great, and the food is awesome. So we're right on Restaurant Row. And so uh, we'll see. The evening continues on. So we just checked out of 20 East Battery. We're here in the Battery area of Charleston. And this is a huge house, bed and breakfast. Uh, actually really cool. Um, uh, some of the relics in that house are definitely for real. 
And we went all the way to the top floor last night and looked at the other rooms, really amazing. And you're right across from this park, which is cool. So we are off uh, to do a little sightseeing uh, now. It is Saturday morning, we're gonna check it out. The bikers are out, the joggers are out, and Charleston's beautiful. So I'm here in the art district of Charleston, and it seems like a five or six block radius. I'm very close to Broad Street, where it was Restaurant Row last night, all the great places to eat. And we're gonna walk around, browse some artwork, and maybe pick up a piece. Um, early on a Saturday morning, heat is starting to kick up, but um, just beautiful down here in Charleston. That's it. I mean, we came up, stayed the night, and uh, had a dinner in High Cotton, and it was amazing. Walked the streets, uh, King Street, which might as well, you know, my credit card budget, whatever. Anyway, um, that's wrap, wrapping up the day in Charleston. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, hot day, but look out here at night. Really. Just gorgeous, beautiful. What's there to hold in the light of this moon? My mind keeps searching, but my heart decides thoughts can be cruel. They're not mine to hold, space unravel. 